you're working on Oh, when you're living on faith Something's got to give Just wonderful Something's got to give Oh, when you're giving your Sensational Oh, when it's coming out Hello everyone and welcome back to another video today. Here we have Alv Church uh, against uh, Solly Hall from uh, Alv Church Ground. As there's a lineup on the bottom of your screen there. Well, let's read through it. 4-3-3 four, 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 three, three again, obviously. And I don't have to say much more anyway. We, we begin this game then. Uh, the pinks of Solly Hall get us underway here. And I'm very, very much looking forward to this game. And uh, hopefully we can take away all three. I mean, it's only friendly, so I don't know why we can take away points. But it's didn't start off well in the opening 10 seconds. They already had an attack against our goal, which didn't bode well for the rest of the game anyway. Here we are, here's Clements, and he's now found Barnsley. Well, to be honest, that uh, clearly explains everything into why Barnsley fell over, and then the keeper uh, to, to block a own goal there. Sorry, I was watching something else while I was doing that, but uh, yeah, that was very touch-and-go stuff. And uh, it made me very scared indeed. Maybe I think I wet my pants a little bit. But uh, yeah, anyway, they're in here. What what are they going to do? Oh, and uh, yeah, they, they missed that one. So uh, let's get out of jail. Got free card there as it remains 0-0 in this one uh, from um, from Alf Church at the Hayes. A very sunny day, of course. Baking on the pitch. A bit like a roast dinner. It's that baking. Um, although I don't know what's hot about a roast dinner. Other than it's nice and, and scrumptious, I guess. But uh yeah, the ball's been whipped into the box, and here's Ben. What the hell was that? Well, that was diabolical by Ben. Clements whips in a free kick. Uh, that only gets to the first man for some reason. It goes for a second attempt, and that was just disgraceful. What the hell? Well, in fairness to the lad, he was injured uh, with a bit of a knee injury heading into this one, but uh, still, he should be in a lot better there. Defence is in a, a shambles again. As uh, McCluskey tries to get back goal side of him, as he goes for the volley and he's just missed the target, but uh, doesn't bode well that you know we've we're missing two players in uh, in Elliot and Brandon. And everything goes to pot. Anyway, Josh Bittle charging forward out the back. He's managed to find Skelton. He's managed to find Ben, although Ben's bottom and he uh, miscontrols it. It's going to be out for an Alv Church throw in. Uh, the ball is in shafted upfield. They're running in now. What is what is he going to do? He goes. He keeps on going. And then um, he pulls it back to this guy, and oh, he's missed it. Oh, it's a horrible miss by that guy. And uh, yeah, they have another chance here, I think. He's through, and he volleys it, well, half volleys it wide. Very poor effort there by the young man, indeed. Anyway, uh, the ball is whipped upwards. Here we have, I can't even see who's on the ball. Here we have this guy now, he's on the ball against Kai. Well, it's not even a good save, it's just dribbled it straight into his gloves, to be honest with you. Um, my nan could do better than that, I'm pretty sure. The oh, God. <laughs> well, that was pretty schoolboy defending there by Keegan. And they, uh, they're they in here, are the pinks. I uh, don't know what's going on, I can't really see. Um, there's a fly on my eye, and they've missed the target again. About the sixth time they missed the target. Disappointing. Well, George taking his anger out on some little kids there is not what you want to see every day. That is not very nice of George there. I mean, it usually happens on the playground with with me, but uh, no. Uh, instead, it's that kid who gets it full in the ball sack there. Anyway, oh god. Well, it's not often Clements makes mistakes, but when he does, um, the usual quite usually quite terminal anyway. Uh, this guy's through. He's going to go over the shot. Oh, it's a P-roller, and Kai manages to smash it away to safety. Harry Fitz, oh, God, what is that? Smashes it up in the air. Uh, 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 no, McCluskey's uh, fallen over his own feet there, and that's disappointing to see on any note of defending. That is not very nice and not very good defending in my books. Anyway, they're through again. Oh, great save by Kai. 
Superb save by the number one. Oh god, he's dropped it. But uh, now nah, he smothers up the danger before lobbing it up towards Clements, uh, who's uh, manages to hold off about six defenders there. What the hell was that? Well, that was interesting indeed. They were through again here, and again, they've missed the target for about the fifth time today. They've missed the target. They've, how they missed that? It's, I mean, it's harder to miss than score. Sabanis, there's a ball bag lying on the ground over there as well. Um, here is uh, Harry, I think it is, getting absolutely out strengthened until he tackles that person. I spoke too soon, I think. Uh, maybe jinx myself on that one indeed. Anyway, this guy's back on the ball again. I'm kind of struggling to see what's going on on the screen. My eye is all over the place. It's a good touch by this lad here. And then he swerves forward with the ball. Now it's just, no, oh, it's looped into the air. This guy's now chasing after it. He goes for the volley, and it's oh, it's a horrible volley, horrible miss that was. And he went out for a throw in there. And anyway, he's Reese charging forward on the ball. He manages to not pass to anyone before having a shoot, having a shot, not a shoot. Nice English, but uh, yeah, Didn't, nothing came of it. Again, Mulumbu has a shot, and it's uh, not a good strike indeed. And there's header in, and it's a good save by Kai again. They've been all over us this game. It's been very diabolical, uh, and uh, yeah, if it wasn't for Kai. I think this game would be about 60 nil in fairness. Anyway, the ball's into the air. It's a great header again. But another great save by Carr, though. It was straight down his throat. It's another chance for them. Uh, this time it's deflected off George. And this time they have a corner. This time a header. And a header well. yeah. Another missed opportunity. Carr doing some showboating skills before having to toe poke it clear. The old fashioned toe poke is out, of course, in, in Alve Church. We often use the toe poke formation. Um, to my I don't know why we just don't, you know, smash the ball upwards and play that way. We can't play out from the back with it. We're not good enough. <laughs> there wouldn't be an Alvachurch game without Fitzy killing someone, as he has done there. Oh, well done. <laughs> well, it's fair to say I think my dogs are better shooting than, than this team that we're playing against. They've missed about 700 chances in this game. To put us very truly to bed, uh, it's still nil nil of, of course in this one uh, because I don't know how we're doing it really. They just keep missing the target. It's just textbook in my eyes. Anyway, they keep coming forward with the ball now, and they've uh, send it through. Jack is one on one with the race with this guy, but he's managed to get back to Kai before Kai lumps it upfield the old-fashioned way. Anyway, here is this guy. Here is Harry. Harry then on to Jaden. Jaden uh, with the ball, he gives it to uh, to Reese. What's Reese going to do? Reese then picks out a pass towards Barnsley, and Barnsley loses the ball. But Clements mops up before Bradders. Oh, Bradders again! Go on, son. Oh, he's missed the target. Well, oh, hasn't missed the target. Didn't even shoot. He just lost the ball. Anyway, Fitzy's played it on towards George. Here comes George on the ball. Quick one-two with Harry. Now George, he goes for the toe poke again. We've seen a lot of toe pokes in this game. To be honest with you, I don't know what it is with toe pokes. To be honest, but uh, there have been a lot of them. They've been brought out today on a hot sunny day in. In, um, in Birmingham. Anyway, here's Ethan on the ball, coming forward with it. Now he's giving it to um, Barnsley, who passes it straight to a pink bed player, which is not what you want to see on any daily basis. Anyway, Clements wins back the ball again for the team, uh, but then it's cheaply given away again. It's a story of our life, really. We, we win back the ball, but then we lose it again. We win back the ball, and then we lose it again. We win back the ball, and then we lose it again. We win back the ball, and then we lose it again. We win back the ball, and we lose it again. Uh, but anyway, you get you get the idea. But uh, oh, what a touch that is from Reese. Shame he doesn't do that in the opposition's penalty area. That would be very nice. Oh, someone else is dead as well. Mark doesn't blow the whistle. And um, we, we play on until Harry Bradley dribbles it out. Anyway, this guy's in now. And uh, we don't see the rest of that clip. I'm pretty sure he missed anyway. Anyway, here comes the shot. And the shot is miles over or wide. Oh, and Harry Fitz. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Harry Fitz there, but I think a gorilla just launched himself out the ground at Harry Fitz's ankles there, and that is a horrific injury, and not what you want to see on any daily basis. Keeper smash the ball out. This could be the chance for Alvchurch to regain the lead, but uh, no, it's not. Uh, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's still goalless in this one at the moment. Here's the pink bib map. Oh, no, we don't get to see the rest of that clip for some reason. Ben Tolly with a shot. Good save by the keeper. And it's going to be another corner. Well, 
just the third corner of the day for Studley. Me and Al Church, don't know why I keep calling him Studley for. And must have some brain damage. Anyway, here is Jack who heads it out. Not a great header. And now they're through again. Is he going to shoot? What's he going to do? Oh, he's missed again. About the 15th miss today. And he's missed a golden chance there. Uh, and so is him. Oh, he's missed as well. Disappointing to say the least, to be honest with you. I expected better by a team who finished third in the MJPL. Um, somehow we finished 19th last season. Um, and we did that with uh, the smallest player in the in the league on the pitch as well in uh, Maka. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with the team at the moment anyway. But here's this guy with the ball. Uh, the uh, bulldozers, Josh McCluskey. I was about to say Clements then because he's wearing a right shirt. Don't know why he's got that on for. That clearly belongs to Clements. Anyway, we're charging forward. Ben charging forward. Clements busting her gut to get into the box. And Ben goes alone. And Ben is an idiot and loses the ball. Unfortunately, the keeper then does what he does best, and that was smash it out. And it's uh, now it's full time, I think it is. I think the whistle's gone anyway. I don't know. I think I lost count, really. But uh, we've literally been shafted. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video then, lads. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll see you all next time. What a great, what a great game. What a great football game. 8-0. Cheers, lads.